fighting with Janet. Like it's, it could work. I just think, I think the producers at Evolution and Alex are probably like, how are we going to make this work? I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't. What do you make of Jax implying that Danny and Naya from the Valley yeah. are having marital, Nia, thank you, from the Valley are having marital issues. Not all is what it seems. Is this just Jax Jackson or is this, because I don't know. I mean, do you think Jackson Brady remain uh separated all summer i mean where, where do you where do you think you think yes Jack is always producing or what danny and yeah like they are the i mean he is saying to her how do you feel and she's having some postpartum I and mean, he is just husband of the year and he's cute and they seem happy unlike michelle and jesse she's running down to chateau marmont she meets a director and she goes every day next thing you know she's dating him but she's still married whoops now we have a divorce I mean, I do they look at each other and say, we're so miserable and we're going to get a divorce, but let's just put that on pause. And say, I know you're having an affair, but let's not break off until like episode five of The Valley airing, none of which is being shown this season, just so we could create more. And Jax is like, don't announce it. Don't announce it. Wait till the show's a hit. Anyway, I don't know, right? This might be Jax Jackson. So, right, they posted and just someone said, you know, they're the most amazing couple and couple goes and Jax waited and said, will be interesting to see how well this ages. Yeah, he's he's implying that Danny and Nia have not a perfect marriage and they have secrets. It might, I mean, I don't see it. I think Jax might be Jackson. More power to you for Jackson. I mean, what a... What a comeback, Jax. What a comeback. Season two, green lit, man. You and Kristen. Wow. Wow. Who would have I predicted? Mean, look, if I were producing a show about drama amongst friends, he I would hire him as the producer. The man has resurrected the career. Uh, nobody is canceled, but I mean, the man lost his job over at the time what people thought was being canceled. And I feel like this is one of the greatest Hollywood comebacks we are witnessing. You know who else you should hire? Who the bar, you know, Jax's bar is going to continue to thrive. Uh, the guy deserves, I I love him. I, lo I just think he's doing amazing. And listen, you saw me at the concert. I bought all my TomTom Tom merch. I want some Jack Studio City merch. And I told you Sutton. Sutton store. There's so many things I want. I want, she has a pullover hoodie that says jealous of what? Then those pajamas that are on the TV, the white with the black. I want. I, I we have to make a trip to Sutton Store. There's a lot of stuff I want. Um, you should also call Spencer Pratt as your producer for your show. For your, I think he'll be the next one to have a huge comeback. I'm you think? Because sure. he don't think so. He thinks no, it's I over. Do. I do because I I don't see. <sighs> I just, I, I don't see a lot of these, uh, whatever. I mean, you and I disagree on this because you always say to me they, that Bravo wants new fresh faces. And I think they do. No one cares. So I think you're seeing Paris and Nicole. Oh, reboot. oh. It, it, life. And it, is it a reboot? Because Paris actually just posted again today to say something like different decades, same BFFs. I mean, is that what it's going to be? I mean, I don't think it's going to be simple life, right? I don't think they're going to go somewhere, but it's her and Nicole. And I mean, I, I heard that it was greenlit with no concept, that it was just like, hi, it's me, Paris. I, I want to do a show. It's also on Peacock. So, I mean, Paris in Love is doing well. I heard that it was just like, they're like, okay, great. They're like, there was no concept. There was no pitch. It was just like, Nicole and I want to do a show. And they were like, okay. And apparently there was an all out bidding war as there should be. I don't care what the show is going to be. I don't think we know of the concept, but I mean, maybe motherhood, but I don't care. I will watch this show from beginning to middle to end. I agree. I think we're nostalgia sells and Spencer and Heidi are nostalgic. They're a couple that's lasted the test of time. Yeah, I think he's the, I think he's poised to be the next absolutely comeback. I think it will happen. It's just Hollywood. It takes forever. You go through years of dry spells. That's why you have to save your money. And unfortunately, my friend, Dave Chappelle, um, one of his dear friends. Oh my God. I have no memory. Oh my gosh. Who was, I was going to say the, I have no memory. Median. 
anyway, a comedian friend that's very close with Dave Chappelle, he came on my podcast and he was like, only get into the entertainment comedy business, producing business. Are you prepared to be broke 80% of your career? Because mm -hmm. you will have a hit, you will make money for three or four years, and then it will be dry for five. Are you prepared? I so. can't tell you how many actors and actresses I have on here that are not rolling in it, not rolling in it. You know, I think it's oh, different. Most of them now. Most, you know, look, I think it's different when you get like Big Bang and Seinfeld and Friends. And like, I think now in Modern Family, like these are the shows where the people are set for the rest of their lives. The Friends people make $20 million a year just in residuals, a year. Also, I mean, by the way, speaking of friends, yeah. we cannot all have Jennifer Aniston's money, but we can all have Jennifer Aniston's hair. Lola V is literally the best hair. I use it. Their detangler is phenomenal. And you could go to lolav.com. It is Jennifer Aniston's hair care. And you could use code velvet for 15% off. I swear to God, it's the best hair care. Go on. Look, well, the Rachel, after hello. Care, after you take care of your hair, Take care of your skin with one skin, oneskin.co. Use the promo code TSFS. I'll tell you right now, summer is here. And the most amazing part about one skin is it goes cellular. It zaps out those zombie cells that create aging and deep wrinkles that last. Well, not with one skin. It's their proprietary OS01 peptides. You need to go right now to oneskin.co and use the promo code TSFS. You're getting 15% off your entire order. How about that? Look at this. 15% hair of, and skin. I know, hair and skin. But I really do use Lola V. Like I'm not, this isn't bullshit. Me like, too, I use one skin. It's awesome. Right? I love it because it's fragrance free. Yes, I hate getting lotions and potions that the, the, the scent is so strong. It's terrible. Oh, And no. I love Lola V because it's not scent free. It smells delicious. And I hate cheap smelling shampoos. And by the way, the Rachel is the most iconic haircut of all time. So wouldn't you take hair advice from Aniston? Um, Internet, what but... other quick hits before we wrap up anything? So I think Jax is Jackson. I love that the Valley is coming back for a second season. There you go. That, that just proves your point. We have all these new people. But to your point, would we care about Janet and Danny if it wasn't for Jax and Kristen bringing us? Oh, in? absolutely not. And in fact, I stand by. I don't know, you know, we, because we, we contemplated on the show and I, we're often, I mean, we're right a lot. And your crystal ball is very accurate. Mine, well, sometimes it's mine's broken. Becoming, mine's becoming a conspiracy crystal ball. However, we're right. We're wrong a lot of the times. At first we did, at first we were heartbroken about Kyle and Mo. Then we said, is this for publicity? Which we weren't entirely wrong about. Then it turned out it was real. However, I do think they played it up. I think they milked it for all it was worth, which I stand by that because once you saw his show buying Beverly Hills, where he had orchestrated the sit downs with all the women, it's like, okay, please. I mean, yes, this is real, but y'all are using this and her Kyle out at Craig's and all the hot spots where paparazzi hangs out with Morgan. It's like, you know what you're doing. Yeah. But so are Jackson Brittany really on the rocks? I, I don't know. If I believe that. However, to, yes, you're correct. No one would care. Absolutely zero people would care. And the Valley would not be being renewed without Jax and Brittany, period. End of story. And Dodie. 